South Australia and its economy is at an inflection point, so we're coming out of an industrial era that has been in place for a number of decades and we're transitioning to a, a modern industrial economy. The digitisation of, uh, of our industrial base and the skills required are going to be critical to that future. So the major challenge for the state at the moment is the transition of our economy from what was um, an industrial era of um, establishing supply chains around big OEMs is moving to a new modern uh, industrial base that's supplying into multiple industry sectors and digitisation of, of our economy is a fundamental pillar to that. Uh, so the virtual shipyard plays a key role uh, as a catalyst for that, that drive of digital change. To bring disruptive capacity with the digital world, you need to touch the people. Uh, you need also to teach the people. So, and to do it, one of the most important capacity is to create this innovation center, focus for some industry, like today we are talking about virtual shipyard uh, in uh, Adelaide, but could be extended to city, energy, high-tech, space, some other industry. Other topic is very important for me is to bring and embark with this university. So to create like a, a collaboration way based on the Swedish experience platform because we have to break the silo and to be sure that all communities from student, industry, government are in the same way to communicate in the same direction. Uh, it's going to involve many, many businesses, educational institutions, the South Australian government, the Australian government, companies like Dassault who are global, uh, Australian companies like ASG Group doing the IT back, back end systems. That collaboration will be something that uh, really the likes of Australia has never really seen before. Looking at the consolidated academics, the governments and all the different players coming together and having that joint common goal on making this project successful. A 50 year project that includes ships, submarines, the ability to become part of the ecosystem, the ability to create jobs, the ability to I would say really motivate college students coming out and say I want to work for this company because they're a part of this huge project that's world class, that's leading, that's getting a lot of attention. There could be a big opportunity for us to be leading uh, an industry, a community into the future. The state governments got the drive, the initiatives, the people on the ground that want to do something about bringing the industry up and making use of that opportunity. I think a key advantage of the project is a single source of truth. We're all accessing the same digital piece of information. It's accurate and it's timely. We, we have the relationships, we have the expertise, uh, we have the experience with our customers here in Australia. So to introduce them now to the Dassault 3D platform is something that really gives us an edge, I believe. We see the program uh, enabling us to globally compete in a true sense uh, with other manufacturers who are already servicing primes, particularly uh, in, the, in the European space. The short-term benefits of the participation in the program are that the SMEs participating will develop the necessary skills and competencies in the digital environment to position them for participation in the in the upcoming naval shipbuilding programs. The medium to long term benefit is those, uh, those firms then embed those digital competencies into their business that will position them for further opportunities in adjacent markets, but also uh, to position them as globally relevant and able to uh, export their capability and competence to overseas markets.